Hello my friends from YouTube. This is Gladys from Gladys Garden. How's everyone today? Um, thanks for stopping by and also thank you for being so patient with me. I know I'm very late on uploading this third uh, part of my um, altar bottle uh, video. Um, I've been just kind of under the weather. I'm not sure if um, you know some of my um, uh, subscribers know. I, I think I've said it a couple of times that I have a situation with my heart going on that sometimes kind of interrupts, you know, life in general. And I've been in the hospital a couple of times and out. Um, I'd rather be out than in, but you know, sometimes you just can't help it. So that's what's been going on. Uh, it's just not because I didn't want it um, uploaded or anything like that. Just been kind of uh, busy. But um, and I'm sure everybody is, you know, busy too and, and understand the circumstances. But. Nevertheless, I do want to say thank you for, again, being so loyal and stopping by and um, viewing the videos. Um, I am very uh, thankful that I have a camera now that I can record and be able to, to talk to, you know, most of you um, instead of just uploading uh, picture videos, which those are fun too, but, you know, I want to interact with um, you and... Uh, Hopefully you will leave some comments and uh, or questions that you may have anything like that. Um, there may be a fourth. Um, saying all that, uh, there may be a fourth part to this video. I'm not sure because still YouTube does not allow me to upload 15 minutes, and I don't know why. Because when I go to my account, it says that I am allowed, uh, but it doesn't let me. So um, if I have to cut it at 10, I have to. But I'll just continue recording and I'll just do a, you know a, a fourth uh, part to this video. If anybody you know is patient enough with me. But um, thanks, thanks for everything and, um, and your patience overall. And getting that out of the way, let's go ahead and start on um, our uh, work. And I'm going to tell you where we left off last time on video number two. We had finished, or um, not finished, but you know, finished the texture on our bottle. Let me see if I can get it together there. And I'm trying the different angles, people, so just be patient with me. I'm trying, there it is. Um, so we finished this texture and I gave you the recipe for um, how to make your own um, um, paste, you know, per se. And I told you that, um, you know, this is not um, acid free, but in this case it doesn't really matter because you are not, um, you're not, you know, you don't have to put a, a personal picture. You can just put a copy of any ephemera or anything like that that you don't, you know, um, you don't think it's, it's treasured um, so it doesn't matter in that sense but I, but I did give you I think I gave you a recipe as to how to make it also with an acid-free uh, product so you can achieve the same look uh, but you know acid-free and um, good for the for the pictures if you're going to going to be uploading anything that is um, your um, your main copy of whatever picture you want okay so Last time we finished this, we did all the texture. We applied, you know, we, we painted it with that texture and then we applied uh, two types of, this is one type of lace, this is another one. And um, what I did today in this neck, as you can see, the neck was empty or naked. And what I did, I got um, a strip of about a, an inch and a half, I think it was, um, of a material and I just tore it a, a big old piece and I think it was about a yard and a half give or take and I went around the neck this way flat first and as soon as I covered the neck and then I started rolling it and went around it that way so it, it achieved it achieves this look right here that you can see and you know I haven't even glued this part right there you can see that where it's coming I don't know if you can see that there it is but hold on a second give me a little give me just a second here um anyway so that's how I got this this look of the of the neck uh, for the bottle so and then um, then I'll tell you everything else that we need to that we need to have or we're going to do for the rest of the bottle today so um, I hope you can stay with us and we'll talk about the materials that we're going to be needing today that you can gather around your area you don't have to do it again exactly as I say or as my uh, designs are but at least I'll give you an idea. All right, so we have our bottle that's pretty much done, ready to, to decorate. And I'll tell you what I'm going to use. I have a little bit of extra laces or kind of an applique. I'm gonna use this too right here. 
we're going to be using a little bit of the Perfect Pearls. And I chose, let's see, one is um, uh, Perfect Gold and the other one is Perfect Bronze. Um, ephemera of your choice. I had this um, cute one that is a, um, it's like, um, I don't know, like a, it's a girl that is dressed in kind of a gypsy or maybe belly dance custom and she's got like wings almost like a butterfly so I went ahead and cut that and I cut it as small as small as I could for my bottle it may be too big but it doesn't really matter we can cover around it too so ephemera I have some let's see we have some vintage buttons we have some flat back pearls different sizes um, I have a little bit of um, metal um, embellishments. Now, I'm not so sure if I'm going to be using all these things, but I just like to have them ready at the time because, you know, I can change my mind at the drop of a hat. That's just the way I am. Um, so I don't know exactly where this is going or where, you know, the whole project is going to end up looking. I don't know. We'll, we'll work with this as we go. I have some trim, gold trim. I have some gold um I think it used to be like a lace bias tape, vintage. I have um, a button that I collected from a, um, I don't know if you can see that right there, you go. I collected it from um, a piece of, um, I think it was a jacket in a, in a second hand store or something like that. I gathered this lace also because it was flat and I gathered it. I didn't want to fuss with it. I didn't want to use the sewing machine just for this. Uh, so I went ahead and stapled it. I know this may, may be tacky. I don't know if you can see those right there. But it doesn't really matter. It's going to be covered. So nobody's going to see that. So that's why I did it that way. Uh, let's see. Some more flat back, a little embellishment. These are like little flowers. Um, I have some bias. Um, steam binding actually that I already previously um, I stained it and then I sprayed it with uh, the Niagara starch and then I just kind of wrinkle it this way and just dried it and that's how you get this kind of old-fashioned or vintage worn out look so that's what I did basically with it so we have that um, then I created these three little um, stick pins, whether I'm going to use them, I don't know, but um, I did it with old buttons. Oh, let me see, let me see, let me get on un frame there. Oh, there it is. So these are buttons that I just put together with um, a stick pin that, with old fashioned or vintage buttons. And I just put one on top of the other this way. And then I have this other one, let's see, right there. Uh, and then I did this one, you know, the ones that have the shaft in the back. So I put them this way. So it's just a different look. You know, it, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's different. And you get to utilize all your nice and cute uh, buttons. I'm, I'm crazy about buttons. Uh, you know, basically um, the, the vintage ones. Um, and then I have this earring. I have the pair, believe me or not. But I really uh, liked it. I kind of put it on her head. And I thought, you know, I kind of like it that way. So we'll see we'll experiment with it and see where we go with it okay so we have those are all the materials that we have right now and then I have some you know some cha uh, chain links in here um, that we're we may be, be able to use or may not I don't know but we have all these things available um, I see and then I have this bling that I got from um, I think eBay a while back this one is the one that is um, you know like um iridescent color right there and if you can see that uh, let's see i hope you can see that there it is right there a little bit so this is a little bigger and this one is just a little bit thinner i cannot tell you the the you know the millimeters or anything like that but i know one's smaller and the other one's bigger um the other thing that we're going to be using today is beeswax we are going to be covering our bottle with uh, beeswax that is the adhesive that we will be using to adhere most of our um, embellishments like the picture um, lace everything else so we're using beeswax and it's already been previously you know I melted it in the you know our ranger I mean I can't bring it over here because it would I just I'll get out of a uh, frame but it is the um, the Ranger melting pot and I'm using just pure beeswax the yellow kind I, I'm I'm partial to that one 